Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Today, it's all about the ladies. Now, you might be wondering, where is our musical guest? Don't worry, Dumi. Karen is just around the corner preparing those vocal cords. Therefore, at fire performance. I can't wait for that performance. That's exactly why I came to work today. <laughs> but brunch first. Brunch first. Today, we're celebrating International Women's Day. And what better way to do this than with a quick and easy brunch? This yogurt toast recipe has gone viral all over TikTok, and we're giving you a twist a bite-sized Clover Bliss yogurt brunch toast twist. I'm telling you it's a tongue twister on its own, but it is both savory and sweet and perfect for your next brunch. Yeah, I'm sure you might have seen it as well and the, all of our viewers might have seen it on TikTok, on Instagram. So what people do is they take a loaf of bread, cut it up into nice slices, and in the center, in fact, maybe I can do that while I'm talking so you can see. So they take the bread and then they make indentations on it to basically flatten it out. And then once it's flattened out, they put a nice yogurt filling in the center of there. So this is a trend that's going on all over social media, but we figured because it's International Women's Day and we've got a brunch on the menu, we've got a nice high tea inspired uh, um, um, show today, why don't we then zhuzh up our little toast as mm. well and do that to them. So to start off with this part, I've got a normal slice of government bread here. <laughs> <laughs> and then all I'm doing, because we still want you to be nice and fancy, nice and cute for your guests, I'm cutting off the crusts. And when I get rid of my crust, I don't throw it away. Okay. I use it and dry it out in the oven and use those for breadcrumbs for a later stage. And then Stunning. I just crush it up. And then once you've removed the sides or the crust from your bread, you can then cut it up into four little quarters because we want to make sure it's cute. The whole idea of a brunch and high tea is that the stuff is bite-sized. You can yeah. just literally take it in one swoop. Essentially, like Utomi has pre-made mine, but instead of with white bread, she's done it with brown bread. So worry not, whatever bread you have in your household, Correct. that should be just fine. So we've got brown bread here. I can see some seeds, so is it whole grain? That's whole grain, Stunning. Whole, yeah, whole wheat. So you can then use your spoon if you prefer to make the indentations in the center. Or another trick is just use your fingers where you go the one side this oh, way and the easy. other. Yeah, which is quicker as well. And you just basically make the indentation there to make sure that it cups in or it holds in whatever filling you're going to be making. But both of our fillings today, madam, sweet and savory, are using our Clover Bliss, which for me is truly indulgent, truly thick and creamy. And it's perfect because we're using it in two different applications for yes. two, two different recipes. So how much do we put in? Do we start with it? And also, another thing, what makes this recipe so special? Because I know I've never tried yogurts with bread. I I think that, that that whole idea where the base of your filling is yogurt based and you've okay. got the zingy flavors of the yogurt and we're using the double cream so you know it's nice and thick in there and then we tell use, me when to stop um i'd say two and a half tablespoons because we still want it to be thick enough so that it cooks nicely in the in the oven and it doesn't go all over the place mm. but then also so that it still is able to take in all the ingredients you're putting in there i mean you've got some cold meat over there some onion on my side i've got some mango that we've chopped up into nice little small pieces let me actually add mine as well so i'm going to be topping mine with some mango at the very top but i'm not putting mango in the actual filling i'm just putting um, some zest that's going in there. Let me just put this over here. So into mine, I've got some uh, an egg yolk, which I believe you also have in yours. And yeah. the reason for the egg yolk is for the setting. Obviously, when we put it in the oven, we don't want it to just melt into the bread and dissolve. Yes. We want it to set so that it actually holds its form while it's in the oven and it bakes. So you cook the egg and it gives you that set. Um, and is it just an egg yolk? Just one egg yolk goes into this. Into mine, I'm going in with some vanilla essence and some maple syrup because we said we're keeping it sweet. Mm -hmm. But into yours, you've got a couple of different things. You've got some salt and pepper. You've also got some cold meats in there. We've used, uh, you could use any type of cold meat. You could use a ham, you could use bacon. You could even omit the meat altogether. And we used some mushrooms earlier. If you've got some leftover, the stalks, because we removed those, chop them up, fry them up, and you can also put that in Should there. I be concerned that this mixture is going to be extra heavy? I can only imagine with the cut up cold meats, with the onions, with the cheese, doesn't it, isn't it a bit, um, yeah. Not at all, because what we're doing is we're lightening it up with the yogurt. So if it was just the filling okay. without the yogurt, then it would be quite heavy. But also the, what the yogurt does is that it enriches it, it makes it nice and saucy, so you're also able to take it in one bite without having that <coughs> feeling on your throat, you know? So it is, does provide the moisture there, but it also makes sure to be the carrier for all those ingredients. So if you Stunning. see the one that you've got right next to you, it's basically like having custard on bread, okay. whether it's sweet or savory. All right, and now into mine, I'm almost done here with the rest of the ingredients. I'm just zesting a bit of um, lemon zest here into my mixture. 
And then once we've done that, finally, we can actually just start spooning our mixtures into our uh, little toasts that we've made earlier. Now, Demi, just to also touch base a little deeper about the flavors that can come through. Again, we've already said we're adding something that's a little bit of a surprise, which is yogurt to bread. Mm -hmm. But on your side, you've got sweets. I understand the savory station. <laughs> like, as a savory girl, I get it. But we're, you, on your side, you added some fresh mangoes. I mean, how then will that play with the texture of the bread and the yogurt? So what happens is when it gets cooked in the oven, I need to imagine the, uh, the mangoes on the very top. So what happens is it cooks out, the moisture gets absorbed, or not absorbed, rather, it actually gets dehydrated. So as it cooks, it forms a bit of a crust on the very top. And as the egg cooks, it also sets it in place. Okay. So the top will be nice, and as you can see, that it hasn't mm. um, gone through towards the, the rest of the bread. It's basically set in place also because of that indentation that we mm. put there. And then the mangoes, we're just putting on the very top. As they cook as well, because of the air and the circulation in the oven, it'll also have a crust on the very top. So it's going to be nice and soft mm. uh, and also give you that touch of sweetness as you bake your, um, your toast in the, in the oven. I already had to start with your <laughs> flavour, Dumi, because I was quite curious, but it, absolutely, the textures don't fight with each at other. All. The crunchiness of the mango that comes out of the oven and also just, you know, the toast like nature Correct. of the bread as well. It's perfect. It almost replicates a jam. Yeah. Definitely. And if you also want to try this at home for your next Ladies' Day get-together, please head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. I can honestly finish the entire loaf. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> With the creamy decadence of double cream bliss from Clover, yogurt has never been so irresistible. Made with love by Clover.